So the idea behind, I, I guess you could say the story behind this level is that, well, as the title implies, they no longer have money for test chambers. So instead of making new test chambers, we're just taking the test chambers to the outdoors. Question marks give you hints. But yes, you can see it from here. The great outdoors at long last. Except where is Atlas and not Shell, which is kind of sad because Shell might have escaped actually. I don't know. After t thinking with time machines, it's a little up in the air. In any case, we need to get a cube onto that button there. So now what we need to do is... Let's see. So the cube falls out from here. We need to launch it through there in order to get it to land on that button. So we just need to keep positioning this cube. We need to keep positioning the portal such that eventually the cube will fall through that hole there. Fortunately, it seems like it's going to take a few trial and errors here. I didn't need to press the button after all. Never mind. There we go. All right. Third time's the charm. So now we can pass through here. We can stand on this platform and we'll get taken to the next level. Pass through this emancipation grid. There is a portal surface over there, but we have no other surface to work with. So we'll pass through here. And now we're in this nice little open room here, even closer to the outdoors. And down there, we can see the previous chamber. So what we want to do, we want to take a portal down there and a portal there. We want to be careful not to fall into the emancipation grid, as that will be bad. If we will lose our portals and we'll have to do this section again. Grab the cube. Carefully walk over. Oh, okay. All right, so now what we want to do is we want to take this laser, place a portal there and there, and we want to aim it into the laser thing there. All right, good. So now what we want to do is we want to place down a blue portal, and we actually want to take this with us. All right, so we pass through here. We're on the other side now. Can't go that way, so we got to go this way. And now, we're outside. Welcome to the great outdoors. We finally escaped Aperture. At least for now. All right, so here's where the real puzzle is. We have seven buttons here. All of these require a cube to weigh them down. And each one of them will make a step appear out of this little slope here. And as you can see, we also have this emancipation grid, which keeps us from using portals to cheat. So what we need to do, we need to take, we need to find seven cubes and place them all along here. Now, several of these are actually hidden in the environment here. So let's get searching and see if we can find them. Now, all we need to do is just kind of look around and they will pretty much just be out in the open, most of them at least. Not down there. Ah, here's the first one. So we'll drop that down. Nothing else up here. Go ahead and move this over here. Set it there for now. Let's see. There should be another one just hidden around here, I believe. Yep, there it is. Gotta go around this tree, it looks like, unfortunately. For a little bit of convenience, let's put down some portals so we can hop between the two areas a lot faster. All right, so. I don't actually want to take all of these cubes over just yet, because as you can see, there is a cube up there that we need to get to. In order to get to that one, we are going to need to stack some cubes. Uh, was there one hiding in the brush over here? Ah, here we are. Here's one. So what we need to do is we need to stack up a few cubes, and we need to hop on top of them. Got it. Okay. So now we'll just toss this back through the portal, and we'll toss these through the portal as well. And these will be pretty much right next to our goal when we're ready to move out. Top on through now. Go ahead and grab this cube for now, because we will need this in a little bit. Man, this atmosphere is amazing. Alright. So let's go ahead and grab this cube and move it over to where the others are. 
I kind of wish I had a gravity gun right now. It'd be so nice to be able to just launch this over toward where everything else is. All right, so it's one, two, three, four, five, including the um, the laser reflector. This is six. We need one more, and that other one is going to be right through here. So as you can see, we have another little test chamber here. We got a laser over there, and we got another laser which will activate once we hit this button. So what we need to do, we need to move these cans first of all. Get out, get out of here cans. We don't want you anymore. We need to position this. We need to position this. Try not to burn ourselves. There we go. All right. So all we need to do, we need to place a portal there. And now here's the actual puzzle of this giant area. As you can see, we have this sphere over here, and we have all these little light bridges here. The objective is we have to trigger each of these switches in such an order that we keep dropping the orb down, down, down until we unblock this last cube. So we need to go moon and triangle, which means we need to be able to hit both that one and that one. Let's see, how was it this one again? I placed the wrong portal again. Brilliant. That is the wrong one. We'll just place portals until we get the right one. Alright, that's the first one. Now I believe it's this one next. It is. And then we need to go this one. Yep. And then the last one is this one. And now we have freed up the last cube. So now we're going to take this back to the rest of them. And we'll need to bring the um, the weighted... You know what? Hold on. We'll do that. We'll take this one back to the others with us. I kind of wish there was a sprint function in this game, not going to lie. It'd be so nice to be able to take a giant environment like this and run through it because of how big it is. But then again, I guess you can't really appreciate the beauty of it unless you can just walk through it at the slowest speed possible. So now, we need to start triggering all these switches. So we'll start taking the cubes and we'll set them into their little groves here. One cube for every button. That one slipped out. And I believe I put down blue, so then if we do this, yep, take this, pass through, and this is the last of them. Alright, so now we just have to climb on up. And there we are. We've made it through to the other side. To be continued. So I really do like this one. I probably, I might try the next few chambers in this series because it really is fun and I enjoy it. So now we move on to the one that I had actually heard of before. I forgot the name of it, but someone in the comments was nice enough to remind me of the name of it. So this is the level which lets you travel back and forth between the past and present of the facility. Kind of like the Time Zones one from Pandora. Except this is actually what I thought thinking with Time Machine was going to be like. Okay. So let's move forward. There's some franking cubes right there. Easy difficulty. Test subject is okay. Time gate calibrated. Alright. So this is a pretty simple one room challenge. Three hidden trophies. Let's go ahead and find some of them right now. So all we need to do is hop up here. I said hop up here. It's going to be easier once I actually get the portal gun, so let's do that first. Press this button. We need to go through there eventually. For now, we're just going to raise up the time gate here. And now we are in the future, I believe. But here is our portal gun. So now, we go to the other side. Now, actually, does this button do anything? No, it does not. So, we want to press this button now. Activate the lasers. 
what we need to do now is we need to get to the other side there. For now, though, let's pass through here, because now that we have the portal gun, we can just very quickly get the first of those trophies. So we just drop on top of here, and we found the shower trophy. Hooray! Now, let's see. I believe it was in the future is where this next one is. We go in here. We find the DOD trophy. The thro the DOD trophy. Hooray. So now we need to get in there. Let's see, how do we do that again? Right, we put a portal there and a portal here. Drop through. And that unlocks the gate. Hello. And there it is. And it auto saves. How nice of it. So let's see, what we need to do now is, I believe on one side or the other we get a cube, which we can use. Yes we do, all right. So we get this cube. So all we wanna do, pass through the other side here. Let's place a portal right there. We need to be kinda careful here careful in the sense that I'm going to walk into a laser if I'm not careful. And now we aim, set it on fire, and there we go. Alright, so now we're over here. What we need to do is... Oh, how does this work again? Right, okay. So now we need to get that laser set. And I'm actually not sure if there's an easier way to do this, but... Well, hold on a second. Let's see, if I put a portal there, pass back through. Hold on. Okay, I'm just a stick figure guy again, okay. So we go over here, and we'll find the Potato Soul Trophy. All right. So now we just aim a portal through there, and now we can pass back through here. So what we need to do, we need to aim straight for that. So... Portal there, behind the vines. We need to like, aim this just right to where... We basically need to aim through that slot in order to trigger the thing. And I don't know... Let's see. Up, oh, it's activated. Alright, so what's that do again? Right, it drops that cube. So now we place a portal there. We'll place a portal here. Eep. So we place orange there. Grab that. It's blue out there. That didn't actually hit a wall, unfortunately. Grab this again. And we are out. So now, here comes, I want to say a slight difficulty in this. We now need to get through both of these laser gates here. Actually, no, this isn't that hard. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to just kind of gently roll that, so that it temporarily blocks that one laser. And now, we have portals on either side. So now, we can just kind of ignore this part of it, pass through, drop that in gently so it doesn't roll out, and we made it! So now we get cake, we get radio, we get our favorite song on the radio. Nice! And let's get out of here. Oh, I think I I think I think accidentally left my radio out of the elevator. Oh. Well, that was a nice test chamber. Definitely want to see more of that. Let's move on to the last one. Casual Casualties. Now... The way I found this one was, I wanted to end off with something nice and casual. Hey man, oh man. Wow. Greg's multiple universe theory was dicey, but you're pulling through with flying colors. We're all very proud of Greg. Oh, and you. So yeah, I wanted to end with something casual, as the name would imply. Unfortunately, this is anything but casual. <laughs> as you can see, there is a turret just outside. That's a great way to start a map, just getting shot at. 
So we're going to take this turret and we're going to throw it. And now this is basically 90% of the map. We're going to have to fight a lot of turrets. And there's tons of them. Yep, there's lots of turrets. There are lots of turrets. And we've got to fight all of them. Oh, shoot. Alright, so now we're going to play a little tricky here. Lots of turrets. That's the best way to put this map. As you can see, though, a lot of them are in ways that are not as easy to get a hold of. In fact, some of them are facing and protecting other turrets. So, hmm. let's see. There was actually an easier way to deal with this now that I think about it. I think you have to start at the top and work around still. So we'll come back here. Now, as far as I'm aware, there isn't an easy way to take care of that turret there. Actually, maybe if I pull a little bit of wall mastery. <laughs> Alright, that was... <laughs> I'll admit, that was maybe a bit cheap. But yeah, now I don't have to worry about that one later. That one really pisses me off because it, it's just kind of there and you can't really get rid of it, so you just get shot up. Portal there. Portal behind it. I said portal behind it. That's... It didn't place the portal. Okay. I should probably save because I feel like I'm going to do something really dumb here soon. Right. Pass through. And I need to run forward because there is another turret right there place one portal there and another behind it. We'll grab it and now we'll carry it over to join its buddy in the hole. Alright, so now we have this cube here. We want to take this cube because this cube will help us. It'll help us by dropping it down this hole. So put it down on here, on here. And what does this do for us? Well, it spawns. Um, it turns off the, uh, the the laser grid, so now we can fly through here. And we want to fly through here because if we do fly through here, we have this button here, which will get rid of the um, the laser gate down there. But we still need to open the door by pra placing our companion cube here. Um, on a switch down below. But we can at least get rid of the lasers if we press that button. Except it's time, so we don't need to press it right now. For now, though, we got a companion cube. We need to get it down there. So let's just kind of slowly work our way back down. Let's see. Gonna have to play it nice and slow here, it looks like. Just kind of... Oh! Oh! Whoa! Whoa! Son of a bitch. <laughs> that thing just kind of started opening fire. Wow, what a... Mm. Alright, you go down there with your friends... Please, thank you for not falling through a portal that would have just placed you elsewhere. Thank you, Q. Um, ba 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 Let's see, can we get a better view from here of those ones hiding down there? gonna be risky, but... There we go. Last one right there. No others in sight. I think we are good. Good. 
So let's go ahead and place the orange portal there. Blue here. Eep. Get our companion cube back. Now we want to go blue there. Alright, we made it. Place our companion cube here where it's nice and safe. And now we need to get back up. So, orange there. Fall through. And now the door should be open. Oh, okay, the laser grid's open. The, la la the, the burning lasers are gone. The laser field is gone, which means now we can press this button to open the door. Which is a time thing, so now we just need to run through. And there we go. We're done. <sighs> so yeah, it's definitely a lot better when you've actually played these levels before and you actually know what you're doing. Uh, but that's it for all the maps I've handpicked for this session. Um, next time, I think I'm actually going to try Quick Play next time. The idea of Quick Play is you choose one of these lists here, either Top Rated, Most Recent, Most Popular, any of these, and it will randomly pick a puzzle from the workshop from any of those lists, but whichever one you choose. So that's probably what I'm going to do from now on, just to mix up the variety. Instead of me just handpicking the best ones, we'll get a mix of good and bad ones. Maybe some that are broken, who knows? We'll see. For now, though, this is Solman of the Stars signing off. Thank you for joining me, and have a good day.